On June the 9th, 1942, on the command of Adolf Hitler, an SS task force set about wiping the small Czech mining village of Lidice off the face of the earth. The village was burned to the ground. All 173 men in the village were rounded up and shot, and the women and children sent off to concentration camps. Later that year, here in Stoke-on-Trent, my parliamentary predecessor, Sir Barnett Stross, launched a movement that would connect the hard-working people of the Potteries with those suffering under Nazi occupation in Czechoslovakia. It is a remarkable story, one of the unlikeliest but most inspiring tales of World War II. Hitler decreed that Lidice shall die. But here in this very hall, bound together by a shared humanity and a determination to fight fascism, the people of Stoke-on-Trent issued a resounding response. Lidice shall live. <laughs>